This demonstration is going to go back once again to the extract example. If you're not familiar with extract, it's essentially a schematic driven EM flow. And I encourage you to go and look at the basic extract example video before looking at this one. In this example, what we're going to do is extend the, the initial demonstration to include ACE, the automated circuit extraction capability, to see how this can be used in an extraction flow. Uh, to begin with, we have two identical circuits here uh, using precisely the same models with extraction turned off. Uh, here's the layout for both of them, and we can see in the S-parameter analysis that we get precisely the same performance. Uh, initially, we're going to turn on the extraction for uh, the top example here, which is using EM site at a very fine grid spacing to give us a highly accurate solution. And when we simulate that, we can see that we get quite a bit of difference now between the circuit model, so in other words, the unextracted ACE example down here, versus the extracted EM site example up here. Uh, to gain a little bit of insight as to what's going on here, we look at the layout and we can see that we're using an M-trace element which is a meandered line which internal to itself is able to model the uh, m lins and M-bends or curves if you use the MC trace version. But here we have a, a, an m lin a bend, a line, a bend, etc. Um, the model itself is able to tile these things together so that we get the meandered effect, but it's unable to capture the coupling internal to itself so between these two parallel segments here, as well as to the uh, stub over here, which uh, at 40 to 60 gigahertz, which is where we're simulating, will be quite a strong coupling. Uh, hence the difference between what EM site is going to show us and what we're going to get with just the bare circuit model. So to improve the situation and try to pick up some speed, um, EM site simulates this from 40 to 60 gigahertz for about 100 frequencies in, in roughly a minute, maybe a little bit more. Um, but ACE is, is uh, 10,000 times faster and uh, as much as uh, 30,000 times faster. Let's enable the, uh, the ACE um, extraction here and let's see what happens. Well, when we simulate this, we don't pick up a whole, ex a whole lot extra accuracy. Uh, the reason for that, if we go and look at um, what's going on with our, uh, with our project, is that um, we're not capturing the coupling to the, uh, the parallel segments here. So if we want to capture the coupling, we need to turn on the ACE capability to capture coupled lines. And once we do that and re-simulate, we can now see that we're getting very, very good um, match below a certain frequency, uh, let's say 50 to 55 gigahertz. Then we have some issues above that where uh, ACE is mapping these things to microstrip line models, uh, now using a, a GMC LIN model here to capture this three parallel segment coupling here, which is going to uh, uh, run a method of moment solver internal to the GMC LIN model. Um, so we're picking up quite a bit of accuracy. Um, and it's doing that all in, uh, in a matter of a few seconds. Uh, here we can see that the ACE extraction runs in under a tenth of a second as compared to a minute or more for the, um, for the EM site simulation. So that's ACE within an extract example. If you'd like more information about extract, uh, go to awrcorp.com and look at some of the other videos, the white papers, uh, the various publications regarding uh, extract and ACE. Or if you'd like uh, uh, more information um, from one of our sales professionals or field application engineers, uh, contact uh, those folks in your area.